Hi, my name is Eric Dennis and I'm the designer of the Foundation Drawing Course. I want to tell you a little bit about myself and my story, my journey as an artist, and show you a little bit of my work. Uh, I'm not really one of those people who were really good at art at a very young age and then never stopped drawing. I was one of those people who never thought that they were very good at drawing. I never thought that I had a, a gift or a natural ability. In fact, uh, all through school, I would look at um, drawings in books and magazines and think, man, if I could draw like that, that would just be really super cool. So I would look at, at uh, these illustrations and look at the work of these incredible artists and I'd think, man, I wanted to be able to do that. My first attempts at drawing were just horrible. When I tried to draw, nothing would come out. My lines were horrible. You hear people saying, I can't even draw a stick figure. Well, that was me. Uh, after a few attempts, I just sort of gave up and just re was resigned to the fact that uh, I didn't have any talent and I was never going to be an artist and I was never going to be able to draw. It wasn't until I was in college that uh, things started to turn around for me. Um, I, had, I was studying something else and I had the opportunity to take uh, a drawing class. And at the time I thought, well, you know, I've always wanted to be able to draw. I'm going to take a drawing class and I'll just see what happens. So I showed up to the drawing class with my paper and my pencils and I did uh, what the instructor told me to do all semester long. And at the end of that class, I still wasn't a fantastic artist. I wasn't a star student by any stretch of the imagination. Um, there are plenty of people in that class that were way better than me. And, um, but I had shown improvement. I could take a look at the drawings that I had done at the beginning of the class and at the end of the class, and I could see that I had improved somewhat. I still wasn't that great, but there was improvement. And the more important thing was is that I enjoyed taking the class and I enjoyed doing the drawings. So I had an opportunity to take a second class. And so I did that and I showed up with my paper and my pencils and did everything that the teacher told me to do. And again, at the end of that class, I wasn't a star. Um, I wasn't this, you know, fantastic artist. There were plenty of people in the class that were better than me. Um, but again, my drawings had improved from the beginning to the end of the class, and I enjoyed taking the class and doing the drawings. Well, I didn't have any opportunity to take a, another class, so I just said, well, you know, I just kind of like drawing. I'm just going to do it on my own and, and learn what I can. So I just started drawing and I would go outside and draw nature and I would draw buildings and people and just sort of, you know, drew as a habit and just started learning things and went to the library and did some studying. And uh, over time, I, I got better and better and better and it was very gradually. And then almost uh, 10 years after I took that first class, I decided, well, I'm going to become an art teacher and I'm going to teach young people that uh, if I can learn to draw then you can definitely learn to draw. In fact if you start learning to draw while you're young then eventually you're going to be much much better than me because I started when I was so old and didn't really have a, a whole lot of instruction and had to learn on my own so it was really slow so if you get really good instruction and start practicing a lot when you're young, you're just going to be fantastic, way, way better than I could ever hope to be. So uh, that makes me excited for you guys uh, and how much potential is out there. So let me show you some of the stuff that I've been doing. Uh, I work for Jefferson County Public Schools as a resource teacher, and I've been doing uh, different murals in lots of different schools. So I'll show you some of that work and some of my drawings. 
I just wanted to show you real quickly a couple of the murals that I've painted in different schools and just some clips uh, from my sketchbook in some different media so you just have an idea of what my art is like and where I'm coming from. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the course.